All right, this video is uh, for a Shark RV1001AE uh, wheel replacement. And specifically, a wheel replacement if you have a motor error, wheel error, etc. But you can't find the exact wheel for your robot from Shark because Shark made two different versions of wheel for the Shark RV 1001A. Don't ask me why. So the first version has the screw location here directly under the tire. This is the older version. The newer version has the screw location here on the corner, not under the tire. So this is for you guys if you want to swap out the wheel and motor into your old plate that will mount up to your bot. What you're going to need is a Torx uh, T15 to remove the screws, pull it out, and then I'm going to show you how to remove this off of this plate and put it on a new plate that would mount to your bot. So the first thing you want to do is remove the, the spring off of here. Now the next step is there's a pin in here. There's a splined end, and there's this small short end. You need a punch, a small screwdriver, Allen key, something that will fit in there that you can put in there to knock this pin out. Now what I do is I get a piece of wood, um, but you can use the edge of your workbench or whatever, something, and I usually support it right here on the motor, which leaves plenty of room for the pin to come out of here away from the wood. So I'm just gonna knock this out. So you can see that there's the axle pin, it's been knocked out. Now this will be, this can come off. So for an example, this is the one that you bought and this won't mount up, this plate will not mount up to your current robot. So you take the new motor and wheel, and you do the same thing on your old one, and then you're going to put this one in there. And the way you're going to put it back is exactly how I took it apart. You're going to stick it in here. The pin is going to go the chamfered edge in first. And I, I stick it all the way in there as far as I can. I even try and push it in as far as I can with my with my fingers and sometimes I can get it almost all the way in. If not, you're gonna to wanna to get it flushed so you just wanna bump that down a little bit. Next thing, take your spring, put your spring on, and now you've got a new wheel and motor in your old mounting plate that'll mount up to your bot. 